Hello everyone! Last week on Building Vilda, we finished sanding and fairing the decks and the roof, before the first coat of primer. So it's time for a break from our sanding paradise and, for a short while, let's enjoy some painting instead. This time we got some help from Chris, our professional painter, who has the right equipment and skills for the job. So, we taped and masked everything that needed protection from the paint spray and we are giving Vilda a fresh new pinky salmon look. We are using a high build primer that acts as a fairing base as well. We have, we have a pink boat. So, if you want to see the result and to find out what's next on our to-do list after painting Vilda on the outside, please stay with us! We are using an epoxy based paint and we started by mixing the paint with the hardener and then checking all the parts of the spray painting machine to make sure that everything works well. Once that was done, it's game on! Let the painting begin! Slowly, Vilda turned from blue to pink salmon. When reaching the cockpit area where we had to paint the underside of the cockpit roof, we enclosed the space with a clear plastic drop sheet in order to prevent from wasting paint and spraying too much on the outside. We might have had a few mishaps during the painting exercise or an unexpected guest. Uh oh! But working in a team, the painting continued with Chris spraying and Axel keeping an eye on the paint bucket making sure there is enough paint and mixing another batch when necessary. Since we have a few more paint jobs coming up on Vilda, Axel was very interested in the details and how the spray painting is done. 
After finishing painting the boat, Chris was very kind to also let Axel play with his professional spray paint machine and practice a bit of painting in the aft of Vilda. Chris also showed us how the machine is cleaned, as this is an important step in making sure that next time it is ready for another use and so it will have a long life. More, more, to the left. <laughs> that makes sound is different. Well, that's all right, since it's a bit of hair. Okay. You know, when it starts coming thin, it will open thin. You'll hear it here. Yeah. You can probably do a bit on the side and just test. What? You can probably do a bit on the side and then tomorrow or yeah. next week just test how good it sticks. We have we have a pink boat. Oh! Oi. I can't get to the top because it's freshly painted. But we have a pink boat and a big ass horrible spider. He's bigger than he looks. And you can't really see because I can't really reach that high. I'm not tall enough. But yes. If we film it at a big enough distance, it looks perfect. <laughs> It looks pretty good, but yeah, it's not perfect. Pink boat. <laughs> so much better than uh, 15 million shades of uh, white and gray and blue and uh, all sorts of bird shit. A first look after after the paint has dried. And this is quite the transformation. I'm super happy with how the cockpit roof turned out. I did not think it would turn out this well. Like many things, it's not perfect, but it's pretty damn good. <laughs> Look at this. Ah. <laughs> the roof for sure isn't very pretty, but yeah, most of that can be covered in anti-skid. The decks turned out better than I thought. Uh, and the stuff that isn't, isn't too great will also mostly be covered in anti-skid. But, yeah, this is quite the transformation. Pretty amazing. Got a new boat. Oh, it's beginning to look like a boat now. It doesn't look like a bunch of wood pieced together. It's uh, beginning to really look like a boat. So now, what is our next step in the adventure of finishing Vilda? We will take a break from working on the outside where the paint has to dry and move on the inside. If you didn't guess yet, we have some fairing and sanding to do there as well. So thank you for watching. We appreciate every like, comment and new subscriber. And if you are enjoying it, please follow our journey in the next episode.